good day everyone so in today's lecture i'll be explaining um, pulley system of two hanging masses pulley system of two hanging masses in our last lecture i explained pulley system of one hanging mass so in this lecture i'll be explaining pulley system of two hanging masses okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to um assume a direction and we assume that the system is accelerating in this direction this is the acceleration of the body so i have to draw the free body diagram for the three for the three systems so i'm going to consider this first so the surface is rough it simply means there is frictional force but if the surface is not rough it simply means there is no frictional force so i i'll consider this body first let me draw this the free body diagram for this so I'm going to have mass 1 and then I have tension 2 acting in this direction, tension 1 acting in this direction and also the surface is rough and then we have our coefficient of friction. So because the surface is rough and there is frictional force and then we assume that the body is accelerating in the direction of M2. It means our frictional force will be acting in opposite direction. So we also have frictional force here. Okay. So if I want to calculate the force that makes this body accelerate. So far the body is accelerating in this direction. It means the total force is acting in this direction is greater than the total force is acting in the other direction. So in order to get the accelerating force, all I have to do is I have to subtract the summation of this from this t2 so i'm going to have t2 minus into bracket t1 plus fr equals f2 okay now if the surface is smooth it simply means fr is going to be zero that way meaning there is no frictional force but it is rough so i'm going to have t2 minus t1 minus fr is equal to f2 okay then t2 minus t1 minus in my last lecture i told you guys that fr is mu mg but now we are considering m1 so that will be mu m1g equals m1a okay so i can say t2 minus t1 equals m1a plus mu m1g so I can call this equation 1. Now, I'll consider the free body diagram for mass 3. Mass 3 is coming this way. This is mass 3. And then this is the tension on it. But you remember that the body is accelerating in the direction of M2. It simply means this body will be accelerating upward. And this is the weight. So, for the body to be accelerating upward, it means this tension is more than this weight. So, to get the accelerating force, I'll subtract the weight from the tension. That'll be T1 minus W3 equals F3. So, T1 minus M3G equals M3A. Then, T1 equals M3A plus M3G. So this is equation two. Okay, <clears throat> I'll also draw the free body diagram for M2. So I'm having M2, M2. I'm having M2, okay? So this is the tension, and then the weight is acting downward. But the body is accelerating downward. Is that not? That shows that W2 is greater than T2. So to get the accelerating force, I'll say W2 minus T2 is equal to F2, the accelerating force. So this is M2G minus T2 equals M2A. Then I can say minus T2 equals M2A minus M2G. Then if I multiply both sides by minus 1, I'm going to have T2 equals M2G minus M2A. So this is equation number three. 
So now I can substitute equation 2 and equation 3 into equation 1. So far I know I have my T2 and T1 already. So if I substitute, okay, so if I substitute that, I'm having my equation. Okay. Okay, sorry for that. Um, I'm having my equation one to be equals to T two minus T one equals M one A plus mu m1g okay then my t2 is is this that is m2g minus m2a minus my t1 is this equation 2 that is m3a plus m3g and everything is equal to m1a plus mu m1g okay so I want to make my A the subject of relation, the common acceleration. So I'm going to have M2G minus M2A minus M3A minus M3G equals M1A plus mu M1G. Okay. So I'll call it light terms. So if I do that, I'm going to have M2G minus M3G minus mu m1g equals m1a plus m2a plus m3a then i factorize so this is g into brackets m2 minus m3 minus mu m1 equals a into brackets m1 plus m2 plus m3 then i can have my a now to be equals to okay um G into brackets M2 minus M3 minus mu M1, okay, divided by M1 plus M2 plus M3. So this is the common acceleration in the pulley system. Then if I want to get T1 and T2, all I have to do is I'll just substitute the value of A into equation 2 and equation 3. So this is how we go about... A pulley system of two hanging masses. So I see you guys in my next class. I remain Ajadion. Thank you very much.